put olive oil on it. Say, Lord Jesus, when it get hot, cool them down. I got to do the work for the Lord. Uh, I got to do a work for the Lord. My automator charged up until yesterday had bad wire. Brother, I wired it myself. And it had no problem. Took back to the man and the man said, look like I did it. <laughs> hey, he want to charge a $100 just put two wires in it now. I can't give God money away like that. Huh? See what I'm trying to do? We got to live a life. Huh? See, you don't have to follow the Joneses. But saints do that, don't you? Huh? If the Jones across the street don't have no kind of God whatsoever, come up with a brand new Lincoln, we put our husbands through death just to get another Lincoln like him. And Mr. Jones just hit the lottery. Well, but see, they have their reward. Yeah. Yeah. Right? See, they don't have no hope. I got them on the left side where I live with new cars. I got them on the right side with new cars. And let me tell you what I do. Every year I put a different kind of flowers out the front. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Say, man, those flowers are beautiful. Last year I used red. This year I used white. They noticed. They noticed me. Yes. Huh? I didn't pay twenty-seven thousand dollars for. It. I don't need it. Thank the Lord. Huh? I don't need that kind of car. I think that's a house. That's a house payment. I didn't give that to the poor or to the widow that's all in need. That are widows indeed. Do you hear what I said? Everybody that's a widow is not a widow indeed. Some of these widow plays number. Oh yeah. Oh yes, they play numbers. Some of these widows got sweethearts on the side. Hello. And you know how you know they're on the side? You park out front of the house first of every month. I know what I'm talking about. I did some investigation on one. Some know how to use rope. Shimmy down the rope. <laughs> they can't, can't go into security. Yes. That's why when they get a house, they say, I don't want to be no high up in the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't looking out for themselves. They're looking out for the sweetheart. Huh? <laughs> and they come to the house of the Lord and say, I thank God how he kept me. Yeah, he kept you all right. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. Thank the Lord. There's nothing wrong with food stamp if you work for them. Well, but don't give the food stamp to your sweetheart. You feed him. Make him feed you. If he loves you, huh? If he loves you, make him feed you. He's supposed to be the head. And if he want to be the head, make him marry. But don't mind if he's not in the law. Huh? Huh? Then you can stand up and say, Hallelujah! The Lord has kept me. See, you can't testify the Lord has kept me if your sweetheart is giving you money on the side. I don't want a sweetheart if I can't be seen with him. Or with him. You know why he can't be seen? Because he got another one on the side. He just passing through. Huh? He's just like a long distant trucker. You see him every once in a while. I know, I know y'all don't want to pass. Let me come back no more.
yourself a shade tree and some lemonade and sit on it. Because we will be back. We're coming in now. Just going to tell you, you, if you don't want to go home, if it's so good to you, just strap yourself in your seat. We got somebody coming at 5 o'clock. You think I'm hard? I can watch. Now they had a cross word. Yes. Thank the Lord. But when you see one, you're going to see both of them. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We're getting things ready. Huh? we coming to Harrisburg. Huh? Huh? Y'all heard that song about shouting John, have you? You can throw me on the outside. I'm still going to shout. Huh? And that's where it folks off. Especially when they're not living where they're supposed to be. You start a shout, they say, what did he shout for? What did she shout for? If you live the life that pleases you, you can shout out for. You don't have to wait till the battle is over. You can shout right now. Yourself and be not conformed to 
this world, but be ye transformed. See, if you were the gambler, you shouldn't be gambling no more. Are ye living free from sin? Thank the Lord.
you enjoyed the message, say yes, Lord. Somebody ought to say yes, Lord. Get your hands and say yes, Lord. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, yes, thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. We can say that we certainly have enjoyed such a great and inspiring message coming forth from Mr. Butler. Amen. No, I can understand why the apostle said, did not our hearts rejoice as he spoke to us by the way? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, tell somebody, I don't know about you, but I am rejoicing.
coming back. What are you going to tell them, church? What are you going to tell them?
say thank you, Lord. Somebody ought to say thank you, Lord. God of mine. Oh, hallelujah. God have mercy. If you didn't get your blessing, God have mercy. God have mercy. Oh, I don't know about you, church. I got mine. If you got yours, raise your hands. Say, I got mine. <laughs> yourself, blessings are contagious. You may sit there like you don't want it, but it's going to get you anyhow. <laughs> it's going to catch up with you. Oh, I tell you the truth. We thank God for the message. I tell you the truth. I've heard Minister Buckley preach. I never heard him preach like this. I tell you, he preached when he was here the last time, didn't he? But why don't you tell me, I never heard you preach like this. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I tell you, he's coming back. I tell you, he and Dr. Rodgers, they're going to come back to this I tell you, I believe I heard him say, give me 30 days, I'll be back. There you right now. Make sure it's no more than 30 days now. You cannot do anything. Oh, yeah. We want it back. Somebody here who has been convicted by the word of God. You need a change in your life. You need God to do something for you. You may not be saved. You may not have the power to the Holy Ghost. But I believe I heard him say in quote Acts 238, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Don't think you're going to get to heaven in any kind of way. Amen. You can see that. Amen. God, this is God's word. It's nothing that he's made up. It's nothing that we've made up. It is the word of God, and it will abide forever. Amen. Give you a chance right now to come. Somebody here may be already baptized, may already have the Holy Ghost, but you may wish to join in fellowship with the new gateway of the cross. We open up the door for you too. It's for everybody. Not only for you that wants to be baptized and be filled with the Holy Ghost, but some of you may here, be here who wants to fellowship and join in the Holy Ghost. We give you the time in the name of the Lord Jesus. Why don't you come? Don't put off the day for tomorrow. Tomorrow may be too late. Don't wait for husband, wife, daughter, sons, and grandchildren. You need to come to God for yourself. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus, God is able to touch you. He's able to. Touch you.